Hello YouTubers, my name is Mixby and you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will be talking about the T-stop. T-stop or drag stop is one of the most important elements of inline skating. It is used by the beginners, by the advanced skaters and by the pros. Why? Because it has a lot of advantages and only a few disadvantages. First, it is very simple. If you know how to skate properly on one foot and can skate on it at least a few centimeters, you are probably already ready to perform your first T-stop. Second, it doesn't require any additional preparation or moves. You don't have to turn your torso somehow to get into the squat or something like that. Just from your simple stride you can put your feet in the t-stop position in a milliseconds. Blink and you are already slowing down. T-stop can be used on almost any surface. Asphalt, tiles, cobblestones, grass, even a ground. You can use t-stop everywhere. Even during the rain on the street you can use it. It will help you. Of course it will require some additional skills from you, but it will slow you down and it will probably save your life. Also, T-stop can be used on almost any speed. Even if you are going on 50 kilometers down the hill, you can easily switch to the T-stop and start slowing down. T-stop is also very adjustable. You can adjust the strength of it, you can adjust the duration of it and anything else. It also doesn't require too much space to perform it. A lane of 50 centimeters or even 40 centimeters will be enough to perform a T-stop, like that one. And the next one, but probably the most important. Finally, your neighbor's kid will stop laughing at you because you are still using the heel brake. T-stop means that you are cool. And I probably know only two disadvantages of the T-stop. First is that it requires quite a bit of time for slowing down. It is not the stop for extreme immediately stop. Some two feet slides like parallel or magic are much better for that. And also the second disadvantage is that it kills your wheels. Yeah, just look at that. But that is, in fact, the price that you have to pay for your safety. So how to get into that T-stop position? It's pretty simple. You're just skating, putting all your weight on one foot, and drag the another one. And here it is. The T-stop is performed. It's pretty simple to get into that position. The question is how to keep that position. And there are three crucial parts that you have to pay attention to to make a good, reliable T-stop. Two of that control points are about the rolling foot, that one, and the one is about the dragging one. So the rolling foot it's almost the same as with the simple one foot skating. Your knee is bent, so the knee is over the toe and the skate is on the outside edge, like that. And in order to make it outside, you have to put your knee to the side a little bit, like that. The next part is about the dragging foot, that one. And it is really called the T-stop, but it's not really the T-stop. It's not even the L, like Bill Stoppard calls it. It's something like that. So that angle here should be less, a little bit less than 90 degrees. Not too much, because you will not get the proper drag with it, but not more than 90 degrees, because the friction will just turn you like that and you will fall and probably your T-stop will turn into S-stop. Not that S, that S. So if you are controlling all the three points, the knee, the outside edge and the angle of the back foot, you will make the good T-stop. 
The question is how to keep it in the proper position for a long time. And if you feel that there is not enough strength in your drag and the speed is not slowing down as fast as you wish, you should use not only your back foot but also all your body. So turn your torso, close your hip like that, not like that, like that, and try to point with that knee into the ground. So that will create the proper drag and the proper pressure right here, and that will stop you. You will feel a real tension in your hips. It could even hurt. If you're going downhill and you have to keep your t-stop for a long period of time, yeah, they will hurt. What else you can do is to play with your weight distribution. When we are starting the t-stop, almost all the weight is on the front foot. But when you are already in the position, you can play with the weight. Put it much more on the back foot and that will strengthen your t-stop that will make it more effective and that will slow down you faster. So here is the light T-stop and here is the heavy one. I'm putting my shoulders back and the knee of my rolling foot is not that bent. More weight is on my back foot or maybe it is somewhere in the center. Well, I've already broke my teacup and probably my wife will kill me for that. But what I wanted to show you is that like with the teacup there is an aristocratic way of t-stop. Like holding the cup, not with all the hand but with only two fingers. You can also use the t-stop not with all the three wheels or four wheels but only with one of them. Like that or like that. That will make your t-stop more cocky and also will save your middle wheel. And that is probably all that I know about the T-stop. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. I will return with new tutorials, vlogs and music videos. See you!